Hello, I'm Lisian. Today, I'm going to share with you on how to explore the Toastmasters website. So when you become a member of Toastmasters, I'm sure you will receive this email eventually. It says, welcome to your new journey and your membership application has been accepted. Congratulations! So how do you explore the Toastmasters resources and how to get your evaluation forms? First, click on Get Started. And then from here, you are going to the Toastmasters login page. If this is your very first time accessing it, you will need to... Okay, it's coming up. This is the login page for anyone. If you already create, have created your email and password, just key them in. If this is your first time logging in, click here and use the same email that you, address that you have received the Postmaster's information from. In the event you did not receive this email, it could be because the email address you, your top officers have keyed in is not the correct one or the one you are given them is the wrong one. So perhaps you need to check with the, your officers again to verify whether the email address they have keyed in is the correct one. So even if you did not receive this email, it is okay. Just clarify the email address. Make sure that it's the same as the one they have and key it in here. But because I'm already uh because I'm already logged in, I will come back here and key in my password. Sometimes it will take a while to load. Okay, now I'm in. Yay! <laughs> so once you log in, you will be brought to this page. You will see something like Welcome to Toastmasters. Yeah, from here. So how do you navigate to your base camp or pathways? So you may be able to see something like choose your path. But if you cannot see that, go to education programs. You won't be able to access base camp yet before selecting your path. You have to scroll all the way down and then go to choose a path. And from here, you can choose your language. Now we should go for digital resources because there isn't any educational cost. And also there are more pathways options to choose from. And now, which path should you choose from? You can either select this to view all the paths. So you can also pick an assessment. So in the assessment, they will suggest three paths out of the 11 paths after picking it. So you can still decide whether you want to go with the the suggestion or go through this and choose your favorite path. So there are 11 paths to choose from. And once you have selected anyone, you can press continue and you will be asked to pay. If this is if it is your first path, it is free. If this is your second path, you have to pay. So be very sure because after you press continue, your path will be selected. And then it is quite tedious to change your path or you can buy a second path. So once you have selected your path, go to your base camp and go to home. And then scroll down, go to base camp. So base camp is where you get to access the resources of pathways. You go to your home club or whichever club you want to access from. And then go to your path and learning. And when you are here, choose the path you, are, you want to work on. And your very first speech will be the icebreaker. So open curriculum. Because I have done some projects in this path, you can see that I have these thick marks. But if this is your first time accessing it, you won't be able to see this 
and you will be seeing something like this. There isn't any tick mark. So you have to activate the project. And then after pressing activate, press launch. So I'll show you it from the perspective of icebreaker speech. So for the icebreaker project, you get to see a lot of tutorials, including how to navigate this base camp. This will take a while to load. Now, welcome to the first page of the Icebreaker project. So from here, you get to know how to navigate through Basecamp. So what you do is you have to go through everything. And then eventually, you will reach this thing called the Assess Your Skills Before. So you must do this to show that you have begun your project. And after that, there are a lot of videos and tips they can... this is for you to plan ice wicker sheet it's up to you whether you want to use this eventually these are just gangs along the way so to click onto everything so all these can have some prompts and then finally when you come hmm Finally, when you come here, download everything. And this is the evaluation resource. So in every project, by the time you see, you come to this, your evaluation and resources, you have to stop here and not proceed any further. So when you see this evaluation resource, download it. And this is very important because this is what your evaluators will be working with. So be sure to download this and send this copy, evaluation copy to your VPE or your evaluator so that your evaluator will know what to choose, what to evaluate you based on. You can also press on print on my project because this is everything that you have seen in the base camp. And only after you have completed your icebreaker speech, come back here. And then go to assess your skills after. Because after doing that, then your project is marked completed. Then you will get a tick. So there is another way to access the evaluation forms. So first, go back to your home. Let's go back to... Uh, Click on the pathways, you get to this page again, and then you get to see this speech evaluation. So from here, you get to select or view all the evaluations of all the projects. Eventually, when you become an evaluator, if you have not received the evaluation from, from your speaker or the VPE, you can come here and search for the project you will be evaluating on. So they are, they are all here. What you need to do is click on it. Launch. And then you get the evaluation form. So with this, you can prepare your evaluation or understand the speech before you attend the chapter meeting. So with that, oh, one more thing. So after you have completed three speeches or four speeches in the level, you will also need to do one more thing. So once you have completed a level, you will get this option to mark it complete. And then after marking, it will not directly be approved yet because our base camp managers who are your club CP, president, VP, or secretary, they will need to go into the base camp manager site. So their portal interface is different from ours. They get to approve your level. And after they have approved, 
you can get your certificate from here. That proves that you have completed the level. But that doesn't mean that your name will be changed to EH2, for example, because after that, the club, you need to go through the second step, which is to go to Pip Central to submit the award for you. And after that, your education title will change officially. And that is very important, especially if you are intending to compete in the International Speech Contest because only when the club officer submitted your first level 1 and level 2 award, then you are eligible to take part in contest. So do make sure that you have at least level 1, level 2 completion before participating in international speech contest. And also eventually, if you are going to help as a judge in the area and division contest, you will also need to complete at least a level 1 and level 2 on pathways. Then thirdly, you can jump around and do projects along the way. But if you want to have a level 2 completion, or uh, level 2 certification, education title, you must also do level 1 that task. Because in Toastmasters, although base camp, you can complete a level 5 before a level 1, but to get the education title officially in your name, you must do the levels step by step. So with that, all the best for your Toastmasters journey. If you have any questions, do approach your friendly officers and mentors. Thank you. Bye-bye.